Okay, I have no idea if it worked or not, and I'm feeling like it didn't, which is kind of worrying me, but we'll see. No way! <laughs> Hi, my name is Jesse at Trash Panda, and I currently make fully recycled discs. If you've been following along, then you know that I've made five different versions of the putter prototype. And now that I'm close to what I want, it's time to start testing new plastics. Now one of my primary goals is to make a disc that's fully recycled and recyclable. And in addition to that, it's also worth noting that governments and organizations are working super hard to create systems to recycle the most commonly produced plastics globally, which is the primary reason that I'm testing those plastics first. I wanna make sure that not only I have a system in place to recycle the discs I make, but that if some random person finds it in 200 years at the bottom of a pond, they could recycle it as well. So I've tested HDPE already and well, well, let's just say it was too hard. So today I'm gonna to test polypropylene. And I know for a fact that PP is used in most of the discs that you and I throw. That being said, disc golf plastics are all blends. And I'm gonna to try to use 100% polypropylene. So will this work? I have absolutely no idea. Am I gonna try anyways? 100%. Oh, and one more thing before I put the plastic in. This is the first disc that I'm making out of entirely post-consumer waste which includes some takeout containers that my wife and I have used. So that's pretty dope. While the polypropylene is melting, I wanna take a second to thank this video's sponsor, Disc Dot. Disc Dot is an innovative putting aid that simply clips into one chain link and helps you aim small, improve focus, and remove distractions. The best part is that disc dots are made of extremely durable thermoplastic rubber. Said in simpler terms, it means it'll last forever and it's 100% recyclable, meaning that Disc Dot creates their products with the future in mind. Oh, and one more thing about a Disc Dot, your scorecard will thank you. Distot has been a long-term partner of the channel and helps me to continue to do what I do. So check out their site, get a Distot and some other rad products, and snag a discount with code TRASHPANDA. And thank you, because supporting them supports me. Thanks again, Distot. Now let's make a polypropylene disc. No way! <laughs> Woo! Okay, do you want the good news or the bad news first? The good news is that, wow, this thing is unbelievable. This thing feels 100 times better than the HDPE. It's super grippy so it doesn't slip out of your hand and it's much more flexible in the middle. It's still on the harder side of what you might use but it's not too hard. Okay, so the bad news. The bad news is that I have two problems now. First off, sourcing polypropylene regrind has been super difficult for me. So if you have connections or know anybody, please reach out to me. The second problem is the weight. 
It's currently coming in at 150 grams, which in my opinion is way too light. So let me know if you have any ideas about how to make it heavier. I'd like to keep it to 100% polypropylene, but I don't know if that's possible. So if you have ideas, let me know in the comments below. Regardless of that, I'm super excited about the progress and I'm really starting to see a light at the end of the tunnel as to when these could be available to the public. I really can't say when that'll be yet because I just don't know, but you can put your info in on my website and I'll make sure you're one of the first to know. Whew, I am stoked. And another huge thank you to DiscDot for making this possible. As always, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to support the channel and we'll see you next time.